People have been talking about this ever since the Seattle Seahawks are in a rebuild mold. Mode. They got rid of Russell Wilson and they got rid of Bobby Wagner. Now it appears that DK Metcalf's on the market. The, the multiple people, multiple sources have said that hey, they they are accepting calls about DK Metcalf. Teams are inquiring. They they think he is on the market. DK Metcalf has one year remaining on his current contract. He was he was drafted in 2019 in the second round. Very speedy. Big body receiver, physical freak, really a one-of-a-kind player. Shocking that he fell to the second round. A lot of people regret that. Should I mean, the Raiders could maybe go after this guy. Maybe, maybe you do go after him, and maybe the Seattle Seahawks would be more inclined to send DK Metcalf to the Raiders because the Raiders are in a different conference. The Seattle Seahawks have clearly made it known that they do not want to trade to the NFC. They rejected the Washington Commanders deal, even though it was a better deal than the Denver Broncos deal in the, in the trade proposal for Russell Wilson. They rejected that just so they could send him to the AFC instead of the NFC. And so maybe they'll do the same thing with DK Metcalf. So perhaps we have a shot. One year remaining on his deal, $4.3 million in cap space. That's all he'd count. Still super cheap. And three hundred, they'd only take a dead hit at three hundred thousand dollars. The Seattle Seahawks, if they are going in full rebuild mode, and and every, it's a, you know, they're selling, they're selling, they're selling, they're selling. Then maybe maybe this is a good shot for us, and maybe this is something we could do. DK Metcalf, amazing year. We'd love to have his services. Eighty two point five PFF receiving grade last year, and the similar grade the year before. Rookie year, not a great receiving grade. But clearly, he's gotten better at running routes. 900 yards his first year, popped off last year with 1,300 yards, 900 this past year, but 12 touchdowns. 12 touchdowns? Do you think DK Metcalf can help the Raiders in the red zone? I sure as hell think so. I sure as hell think this guy would be awesome. And that's why I think Russell Wilson is overrated. Russell Wilson doesn't realize that th there's no DK Metcalf in Denver. Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, Tim Patrick, these guys can't hold DK Metcalf's jockstrap. I'm, I'm sorry, they can't hold his jockstrap. I would much rather have DK Metcalf than Tim Patrick, Cortland Sutton, and Jerry Judy. Is that really that crazy? I feel like that's a normal view that a lot of people would have. So I think Russell's messed up, and he's going to realize the grass isn't greener on the other side, and maybe the Raiders should pick up this guy who he's neglected and not valued as a receiver. DJ Chark. Everybody, there has been rumors that the Raiders may pick up DJ Chark Jr. A lot of people have been tweeting about this and beat reporters and insiders saying that DJ Chark may be, is a target by the Raiders. And he has that 4.33, 40 times speed, uh, has been in the league for you know, a few years so far. And really, that's what we're missing. You, you can utilize Zay Jones and Brian Edwards. Zay Jones is not under contract. We're going to need to re-sign him. However, he made $2.5 million last year, and I think he likes playing in Vegas. So I think Zay Jones would be a good person to keep on your team, to keep on your team. Already has some chemistry with Derek Carr. If we had Chark, you know, Zay Jones, Brian Edwards, and Hunter Renfro, that's a receiving room that I'm, I'm kind of confident in. That's a receiving room that I'm kind of happy about, to be quite honest. I, I would think that's not that bad, and that could be exactly what we need. Somebody like... Uh, DJ Chark. We need a speedster. We need somebody to replace Ruggs. It's not a secret. Every, everybody knows we need a wide receiver. Might as well go out and get the speedster we need. Been in the league for four years. Stats for the past three seasons. PFF uh, contract. <laughs> Let me just freaking point. PFF contract projection here. Uh, they are projecting that he will get $12.5 million a year. So a two-year $25 million contract with 15 million dollars guaranteed that's pretty good i mean to me i mean that's affordable to me think about it we're playing we're paying Kenyon drake who i think Kenyon drake's a great guy and could be great in josh mcdaniels's offense i do think so but we're paying drake nine million we're not paying any wide receiver a substantial amount of money we are paying darren waller like six or seven million dollars a year i mean why can't we afford a receiver like this why can't we afford 13 million dollars a year for receiver 12 million dollars a year for receiver we should, we should be able to afford this. We should be able to afford this. DJ Chark, 154 yards last year, got injured in October and placed on IR, had his low P lowest PFF grade, 64.1, but still picked up two TDs, 154 yards, had that monster season in 2019, going over 1,000 yards with eight touchdowns in 2020 uh, in the, um, the modified season, had five TDs and 706 yards. Free agency is tough. It, it, it's tough to see what we're going to do. I, I do like that things are getting cleared away. I like the fact that Devontae Adams and Chris Godwin are, are out of the way right now, out of the picture. You know, Chris Godwin from the Buccaneers has been tagged, and Devontae Adams has been tagged by Green Bay. So we can move on from that. I, I've had a lot of Raider Nation still telling me that Devontae is coming to the Raiders. Yes. I've had a lot of Raider Nation still tell me that Devontae is coming to Vegas, is coming to the Raiders. 
Uh, and I had to say this yesterday. I, I'm, I'm going to say this again. You need to let it go, bro. You need to let it go. You need to move on. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. Even like, 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 even if it could, even if the Packers wanted to ship Devontae away, which they don't, they, they, you don't sign Aaron Rodgers to ship Devontae away, by the way. You, you, that's not going to happen. But Devontae, he wants to play with A-Rod. He wants to go win a bowl with his guy, A-Rod. They, they got a team that they think they could do it. They were deep in the playoffs last year. So guess what, man? Like, let's give it up. Let's move on. Let's not be delusional. Let's not hate on Willie online. Let's not hate on Willie on Twitter. People are hating on Willie on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at Real Wi-Fi Willie. People are getting heated at me because I'm trying to tell them to move on and that it's not going to happen. No, I'm sorry. He's not. Devonte not coming, bro. I mean, it's just like we, we got. It's, it's like a relationship. This is just like a relationship. We, you know, you break up with a girl. Uh, you know, maybe she flirts with you a little bit. You still think you can reconnect. You got to eventually just say, you know what? There's other fish in the sea. There's other fish in the sea. And you got to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm a handsome man. I can go out there and I can meet somebody new. I don't got to be held to my past. I don't got to be held to my ball and chain. Right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. So you guys got to move on in that same way. No more Devontae Adams talk. So, man, all these free agent wide receivers have injuries. I think people should understand that equals cheaper. Now, that's an interesting thing uh, about this, Mike Castle, and I think this is a very relevant comment which you're making, going back to DJ Shark. Um, DJ Shark does, did have a major injury last year. I, I wouldn't say major, like it's something that he can't recover from, and, and it's a way where like you lose speed. What's really funny, and always remember this about injuries, uh, Deshaun Jackson, what did he say last year? He came off an injury, ended up playing last year, and what he said, and, and maybe this is all hype and all smoke, he said he actually became faster after his injury is what, is what uh, Deshaun Jackson said, because, you know, we are living in 2022. I mean, nowadays when you get injured and you're a famous rich wide receiver, you can have some freaking bionic, you know, tools and bionic robotic machinery attached to your body. And you could be able to, to maybe become faster, maybe even have a stronger leg, a healthier leg with tons of surgeries. I mean, that we are living in the plastic surgery uh, you know, techno futuristic world. Th this is, this is what it, what, this is what it is. You know, we are here in 2022. So who's to say DJ shark can't afford some decent surgeries. Who's to say he might not, he might even be faster. He might even be faster than what he was when he was injured, but he did suffer a year long injury in 2021. So you wonder what's the production going to be like? Can, can he still do that thousand yards he had in 2019? And, and you're right, Mike Castle, hopefully this means cheaper. Uh, but unfortunately, and this is what I'll say, even though a lot of these wide receivers in, in free agency have been injured, I will say this. They still will command a lot of money because now that Devontae Adams and Chris Godwin and people like that are out of the picture, and Mike Williams is out of the picture as well. He was somebody who has been signed by the Chargers, staying with the Chargers. Look, those guys are out of the picture. So people like DJ Shark, they've moved to the top of the list. You know, he, they've moved to the top of the list of, of, of available wide receivers who will maybe get a lot of money. This is the money that Godwin, the money that Mike Williams would have, would have received testing the free agent market. Now, somebody like Shark can maybe get that money. So even though, like Mike Castle saying, man, he, this guy has injuries. He, he should not be you know, getting $12 million a year, $12.5 million a year. They still might be able to do that because, boom, a lot of these top guys, top dogs, are out of the, out of the, out of the picture. So the stock goes low in your trades. You know, your trade offers, what you're able to receive in a trade goes lower when you when when teams know you're desperate, when teams know you're gonna move on. Bobby Wagner, you think that you think the Seahawks didn't call around the league to see if Bobby Wagner would be available for trade? Of course they did, but nobody wanted him, so they released him. I mean, I mean that's that's what happened. So I want you guys to answer in the comments below. Which wide receiver should the Raiders go after? Either in free agency. Or, 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 or through a trade, or even through the draft. But let's stick, because the draft is in April, let's stick with free agency and a trade right now because that's what's going to happen this next month. Which wide receiver would you go through? And I've mentioned two today. I, I've mentioned two today. I'm, I've mentioned Chark and Metcalf. And either way, Bobby Wagner we know is on the market. We know Bobby Wagner is on the market. It's interesting. Maybe, maybe we can perhaps pick this guy up. We have linebackers. We have Denzel Perryman. We have... Diablo, Corey Littleton, and Kwiatkowski. I think they have a higher. Sorry about my ass reflex. <laughs> Sorry about my ass reflex. Uh, Corey Littleton and uh, Corey Littleton and Nick Kwiatkowski. A lot of people think that they would fit better in the three-four scheme. I mean, that's what that, that's what they were made to do, right? Before we switched to the Gus Bradley scheme, and they they kind of had no place there. So who knows what will happen? 
I anticipate that we still will try to move on from Corey Littleton and Nick Kwiatkowski. We can cut Corey Littleton and have a June 1st designation where he's still free to sign other teams but can't literally step on their facility until June until after June 1st. And I think that's what we'll do because we'll free up about I think about 5 to 6 million dollars if we cut Corey Littleton with the June 1st post June 1st designation. We signed KJ Wright last year and I'm not going to say that he was a great linebacker, but he was utilized. He was out there. He was making some moves. He wasn't able to really produce at a significantly high level and you saw him lose some snaps at certain points towards the end of the year but when it was an obvious rushing play when it was in the red zone KJ Wright really stepped in I still think he's a liability in coverage because of speed and I think Bobby Wagner will be a liability in coverage as well he is 31 years old 10-year veteran available on the market his previous contract was valued at 18 million dollars a year and maybe that's why Maybe that's why they let him go because it's just too much. Maybe they'll try to sign him again. They're playing some type of chess moves where they'll probably sign him at $5 million a year. Who knows? Who knows? Either way, though, this guy in coverage has regressed since he's been older, similar to KJ Wright. 75.8 coverage PFF grade in 2019. It's gone all the way down to 64.1 in 2021, and he played pretty much the same amount of snaps. It's not like, oh, he played less. That's why he had a worse grade, not as many opportunities. No. He, he, he you know, Basically, it's gotten worse. It's gotten worse. There's no other way to spin it. Allowed 679 yards uh, in reception yards while he was covering. That's the most he's had in the past three years. That, that's pretty crazy. I mean, that's pretty crazy in my opinion. That's that's not a lot. To just, just to give you guys an idea of how much that really is, uh, Denzel Perryman only allowed about 450 yards this year. So Bobby Wagner as linebacker allowed like almost almost two to 300 more yards than than Denzel Perryman. So I think Wagner would be a liability in coverage. There's been some hype online or a lot of Raiders fans. Pretty much whenever any player is on the market, any player who's kind of famous, who's maybe has a higher rating on Madden, you know, Raider Nation flips out and is like, is this player coming to the Raiders? Is Bobby Wagner coming to the Raiders? Right? That's, that's, that's what happens all the time, right? So...